hi guys welcome back to my channel so here I have my Jamaican cassava I already peeled it I also removed the core but actually someone did it for me so to remove the core after you peel the cassava you would cut it in half and then the part in the middle there's a tough part in the middle you would cut it out because you don't want to grate a cassava with that part in it so that's the part i'm showing you i wanted to show you before i peel it but as i said earlier someone gave it to me like that so i started grating the cassava so i'm just going to show you the part of the grater that i used to grater it to grate it so you would use the smallest part of the grater so i'm just going to quickly grate it and show you do not skip this step guys you will need this instruction Further down while I'm grating, I will show you what you should dispose before you make your dumplings, alright? So just keep on watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, click the subscribe button for more interesting and delicious Jamaican recipes. So guys, while I'm grating, those are the smart parts. Those parts can't grate. Trust me guys, you don't want to grate off a finger. So just dispose those parts, alright? And continue grating. So once you grate and you reach to the small part, just dispose it and move on. So I'll be preparing a small amount of dumplings, maybe about 8 or 10. So you know guys, I'm not going to be using a lot of flour. I'm not going to be using a lot of cassava. I am using like a 3 quarter of a large cassava. So you know, the more dumplings, the more cassava you will be using. So I'm also adding some salt, so I'm just going to use my clean hands to make the dough. To form the dough, you might need like 2-3 to three tablespoons of water, but because the cassava has a lot of moisture, so you will not be using a lot of water to form the dough. So just keep kneading, and as you knead, it will come together. As you can see, mine is coming together. I did add in about 2 tablespoons of water off camera guys. I am finished making my dough so I am going to move on to the next step. my water on the stove I'm not using a big pot as I said guys I'm not making a lot of dumplings so I also added a little salt to the pot you know you add the salt to your taste of course so I like to stir it I like to stir to so that the salt will be dissolved then I cover the pot and let it come to a rapid boil and I'm going to add my dumplings now guys you can always add any other provision of your choice to the pot but for me today guys I'm just going to be having some cassava dumplings alright so you know I remember your kitchen so you put whatever you want put in your pot so I'm just going to be adding my dumpling to the pot I don't like it to make them very big you know so you can make it the size in which you like so this is how I make my dumplings whichever way you make yours guys the same dumpling so don't worry how you farm it just know say so i have some nice cassava dumpling all right so as i said earlier i'm making about eight but i did get ten because i'm not making them big so as they cook they will you know expand so you don't need to make them very big to put in the pot but as i said if you love big dumpling make them big so as the water boils, I like to cover the pot halfway because I don't want it to boil over on this. These are all the seasonings that I'll be using to fry up the mackerel. If you want to use all of them, if you want to skip the seasoning, you can. Or if you want to use your favorite ones, you can do so also. So I like to use the Grace Tin Mackerel. You can always use a favorite, but I love the gray, so I'll be using it. So I'm using two tin of mackerel. So I am going to open them off camera. And you know, guys, some persons they clean their mackerel. I don't. 
you know the macro has a lot of omega-3 so i'm not going to be removing anything from it but if you want to clean up your mackerel for you take it from the pot from the can you can so to the heated oil i am adding my natural seasoning i'm not using a lot of oil i don't like to cook with a lot of oil depending on what i'm preparing so if you want to use a lot it's up to you so i like to add all the seasoning at once to the pot but if you don't want to do it that way then go ahead and do it the way you like it so i'm just going to saute the vegetables for about two to three minutes and then i'm going to add the mackerel so guys i love my mackerel i love the sauce so i added all the sauce from the both cans if you want to skip the sauce because you know some persons i don't like the sauce so if you want to fry the mackerel without the sauce you can if you want to do it the way i am doing it do it the way you want to do it of course so even though i added all the sauce i'm going to let you cook down to about half of the sauce because you know i don't need a lot of sauce but i do love the sauce guys so i'm just gonna stir occasionally and let it cook down until about half reduced and then it's all done but before i do so i like to add some black pepper to my mackerel you don't have to add it if you don't like black pepper so at this point my jamaican cassava dumplings they're all done so before i turn off the pot i like to stir it so that's what i'm going to do and then i will check in on the mackerel so it has reduced to about half so i am going to put out the flame So guys this is the end product i hope you enjoyed this quick video if you do remember to subscribe turn on your post notification bell so you will be the first to be notified whenever i upload a brand new video if you try the cassava dumpling recipe remember to give me your feedback also guys share the video give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video